Hey everybody, what's up? Ray here again, and I've recently raised this house up by a block, and I wanted to make this video to talk a bit about what I've done and what my thought process was in doing so. Now I know this might not sound like a very special thing to do, and that is because it is. It's a very routine work actually, something that you do quite often when you're building a creative world. I wanted to do this video anyway, or rather because of it, because I just wanted to show one of the less spectacular things that you do as a builder. Especially because this might actually be useful for people who are just getting into building, for whom a detailed explanation of the process of doing these more generic tasks might actually be useful, or for people who just want to learn the odd trick or two that they have not thought of themselves yet. So without further ado, let's get into it. First I've obviously got to select the building. So we're standing on the ground and looking straight up I can make sure that I'm standing directly under the corner of the roof here. And from there I'm moving diagonally outwards to make sure that I'm also selecting the roof decorations that are on the endpoints of the roofs. In the other corner I had to make sure that I didn't accidentally select any parts of the neighboring building, which was actually pretty tricky. So you can see that I'm actually tucking myself right into this inner corner of the neighboring building's roof, just to make sure that I get as far out as I can, and then checking that I'm actually far enough out compared to the building I actually want to move. You can also see I'm only selecting the base plate of the building and then expanding the selection upwards to actually select the entire building. This is most of the time easier than actually just building up to select the cuboid directly. So then I actually moved the building up and you can see I made a small mistake here by only selecting the top surface layer. Because moving up the building created a void underneath the building and because I only selected the top surface layer all the blocks that could fall down like gravel and concrete powder did fall down into the void. I remedied that by undoing my change, actually expanding the selection down by a block and then moving the building up again. You can see that moving the building up actually messed with the double tall plant blocks. I had this problem with both world edit and fast async world edit which meant I had to go around the building and fix this by hand. Bit annoying, but sometimes things like this happen. I then dug down through the corners of the plate that I've moved up with the building to select the void that moving the building up has created and filling that in with stone. And with that the building was moved up, so the next step was reintegrating it with the rest of the world. I started by selecting the ground around the building, you know this plate that I've effectively moved up with the building, and moved all those pieces back down because they were obviously not supposed to be raised up with the building. They mostly just ended up in the selection because I needed to go out from the building's walls quite a bit to select the roof. After that was done I moved on to the plants. This was actually where some of the more creative work began because I had to decide which plants I wanted to keep at the elevated level and you know surround with some decorative walls and which plants I wanted to move back down. Wherever I moved the plants down it basically just meant that the building's walls were extended by a block and wherever I kept the walls up I surrounded them with some different designs of decorative walls to create a sort of planter-like or elevated garden-like appearance. This was actually the part of the process that took the most time, but it was also the part of the process that was the most fun. And with that, this task was done. To give you a bit of an idea of the time frame, this whole thing took me about 25-ish minutes to do. And with that, we're already at the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and see you next time. Goodbye.